Welcome, Dr. Lucy, to Thermo Foodies. Thanks so much, Michelle. Thanks for having me. And I, as I was saying to you earlier, I'm, I'm wearing my big ear things because I can't work out how to unplug my microphone without rebooting all the whole settings. So that's why I'm wearing those tonight. I feel well, a bit self-conscious. I think you look very professional and if it makes you feel better, I can pop, pop my big things on. And... <laughs> we can do it together. <laughs> so I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's good. I'm... The kids are, have got the iPad, so they're leaving me alone, so it's nice and quiet in here. Oh, lovely. Um, so we haven't got any questions this week, so I just want to let people know if they're watching us to just comment directly below where you're seeing this video and we will see your comments um, and we can answer any questions that you might have for Dr Lucy. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch into something that is... Um, really important uh, or um, something that Dr. Luce is passionate about, which is hypnosis. So yes. this is something that you do, is it? Yeah, so it's one of the tools that we use to help, I guess, with that whole behavioural change that we, you know, are so passionate about. A lot of the things that stop us doing what we want to do. So you know, the way I often talk about low carbon, we talked a bit about it last week, is there are those people who have never heard of it so or, or don't understand it or have it, you know, need some guidance. So they're the, And then there are people that know a lot about low carb but just can't, keep, just can't do it, you know. They try, they try for a couple of days and then, then they fall off the wagon and then they hop back on. Um, so the, they're the people that we really love to help because everybody can do it eventually it's just unpacking the things that are blocking you from doing it and for the majority of people that stuff that's blocking you is deep in your subconscious you may not even know it so you know we know that there are things that are obvious like when people go well you know I'm, I'm a stress eater and when I'm stressed I eat so we go okay well we can address that um, but there are lots of things that are, have gone on in our, so our subconscious is where we, we can't access our subconscious, it's below our conscious. So consciousness is when you're aware of your thoughts and, and they're obvious and then your subconscious is what you do but you're not actually aware of them. It's quite tricky and there's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff that we do that is in our subconscious. So the way hypnosis works, so I both um, Dr. Mary and myself have done a course in medical hypnosis and it's really designed to be accessing some of that subconscious and either letting go of some blocks and things that might be holding you there or also just imparting some alternate ideas and strategies if you like. Now, one of the super interesting things is that Repetitive advertising actually relies on thoughts being embedded into our subconscious. Now, the way thoughts get into our subconscious is that they come in when we're, when we're not concentrating, so when we're not actually actively conscious, if you like. And sometimes, you know, when, I mean, I tend not to watch commercial telly anymore because I'm a tiny bit addicted to Netflix, but if I was watching commercial telly, you might be sitting on the couch and you're just kind of zoning out a bit because you're usually there relaxing. And a lot of that advertising, it's why we call it subliminal messaging, gets in and gets stuck into your brain and you really have no conscious understanding that it's there. So when people hear about hypnosis, they think, obviously, of stage hypnosis where you're in a trance and suddenly you're clacking like a duck or, you know, barking like a dog or doing some ridiculous sort of behaviours. Medical hypnosis is about as far away from that as possible. Basically, the way it works, it, it's actually really beautiful. It's a very relaxed state. So the idea is that we get people to relax and the, the conscious level that you're in is a little bit like you know when you have a you know when you're tired and you might have a little sleep on the couch but you're sort of aware there's stuff going on around you but you don't you don't really care about it you're not engaged but mm -hmm. if something was to happen you could easily wake up and get on with it that's that's actually a hypnotic state so okay. it's sort of between wakefulness and sleep 
it's a very kind of pleasant feeling. So we spend some time helping people get into that state and then while they're relaxed, that's when we will put in what we call the hypnotic suggestions. And they can be done in either, sometimes they're done with um, like metaphors. So it might be, you know, letting, letting go of something like, you know, water down a waterfall. And basically it's the idea of you're letting go of something. Or it might be, you know, uh, watching a thought disappear like a balloon off into the sky. And so you use some metaphorical language to, I guess, change some of these thoughts that are blocking people. And mm -hmm. when you do it in a way that's sort of, it's reasonably generic so that people, because everyone has their own thoughts and blocks, so they'll be in there. They won't even be aware of it, but their subconscious brain certainly is. And so you might ask people, you know, to let go of anything that could be blocking them or anything that they feel is a barrier that's been holding them in their way or any pain that they've been holding on to for years that they've been using food or alcohol to manage, those sorts of kind of ideas. This, this could be um, in the realm of self-sabotage. Like, so you have, you know, when the, the examples you're using there could be reasons to not continue to sort of, yeah, get that get in the way, or even um, so you're trying to be low carb, but you just feel like it's all too hard. Yes. Um, yeah. So those yeah. Are sorts of situations you might be in. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think that um, you know the idea that. Uh, you can let you can let go of some of these thoughts that are holding you back, or uh, even feelings that are holding you back, um, and that you may not, as I said, in in your conscious level, like if you're just chatting, you may not even be aware that they're there. But when you're relaxed, and when you go into a very kind of lovely deep relaxation, your frontal brain, so that thinking brain, it it turns off, so it's kind of asleep. It's not there guarding all your thoughts and filtering everything anymore. So it really allows for this idea that these um, these suggestions or cognitive anchors, they're called, can go into the into this subconscious part of the brain and make some change. Um, and of course, it's people go, oh, you know, but what if you know what if you put weird stuff in there well of course we don't do that we don't do that one of the things i say to people is for some people they will remember everything mm -hmm. at the time but you know when you wake up from a dream if you've ever had a vivid dream and you wake up and you feel like you can remember everything about it mm -hmm. and then a few hours later it sort of disappears like mm -hmm. you can't it's like you're trying to get these sort of threads of the story hypnosis can be like that okay. so people will come out and they'll go they'll start telling me all about it. And i go no no we don't want to talk about it because what we don't we, what we want is for it to stay in that subconscious mind and when you talk about it you bring it up into your conscious brain and, and we don't really want it there especially when we're talking metaphors because the metaphors work beautifully in the subconscious brain so yeah it works really well for people because when people self-sabotage they don't even know why they're doing it sometimes like it doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to them mm -hmm. Their conscious brain is saying things like, I really want to lose weight. I'm definitely going to do it. And they will wake up every morning, vow and declare that they're going to eat well. And by about lunchtime, they start to wobble. And then by dinner, it's all over. And they're mm. back eating chocolate on the couch. That's the sort of thing that hypnosis can be really powerful for, for unlocking some of those thoughts. Now, one of... One of the interesting things that I'm mindful of is that there is there's this sort of hypnosis going around that is for a, um, a what's it called, virtual lap band. And oh, honestly, okay. yeah, it's a tiny bit rubbish. It's basically, I think part of it's rubbish is because what they're actually teaching people in this is to eat six small meals a day. And, and we know from low carb living and the way insulin works, the six small meals a day is never going to help you lose weight. Mm. So it's really that that that's that is 
just a little bit of trickery, I think. I'm not so crazy about that one. But this is more going to your thought level. So I've heard of um, I, I, one of my first jobs actually out of school was in a uh, psych clinic where they did a lot of hypnotherapy for to help people um, quit smoking in particular. Mm. Yes. So, I mean, that in my mind, it's you're quitting an, a, a very specific thing. So you're, you know, perhaps I might have suggestions of um, when you're having that craving and you're going to reach for it to not so, but this is this sort of what it's like. You know, you're thinking about a particular food and not to go and eat it, or is it more to do with being healthy and making that choice? Um, yeah, is it, or is it a mixture of? We do a whole mixture. So we have so in when people are doing the twelve week um, mind body rebalance, there's a hypno, new hypnosis for each week. Um, so some of it will be related to that particular week and, I mean, coming up, we've got the last week of the one that's just gone through and it's a sleep hypnosis, which makes sense because sleep is the last week. Um, we do one. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I thought I was talking to myself for a minute. Um, uh, we do one on, you know, the focus being on real food uh, Mary does a beautiful one on actually your body lowering its insulin because, again, the mind has such power over the body. So she's got a really great one for that. We do a beautiful one on gut when you're during gut health week. So that comes with the um, with the with the 12 week reboot, the 12 week rebalance. Sorry. But what we've actually done as a separate product is we have done a 31-day daily hypnosis. Um, and what happens then is that people do one every day and it's they're not all on health. Oh, sorry, they're not all on weight loss. They're on health as well. So there's some on stress management. There's some particularly on food. And I'll give you an example of one of my favourite ones and it's for the idea is for FOMO, so fear of missing out. So when people get triggered by somebody else eating their their favourite food, you know, they might go, oh, I can see everyone else eating donuts and I want to eat donuts and I feel terrible and I can't eat the donuts. And so they're having this little battle in their head. And the one for that is we do a scene, basically create a picture and the person, the person gets to choose the food that they no longer want to eat. So something like donuts, for most people, they're actually kind of happy to give that up. They don't really want to eat donuts. They've decided they don't want to eat donuts, but they feel slightly beholden to these donuts, like the donuts have power over them. So we go, whatever it is that you want to that you want to let go of, you basically, we go, the scene is like a, a beautiful um, bay. They're walking along a pier or a jetty, and then there's a little boat. And they put everything that they don't want to eat anymore into the boat. Then they let the boat go and they watch it go away from them. And the thing is they know that this boat is going to land in someone else's harbour. And so someone else is going to have to deal <laughs> with the donuts or the chips or whatever it is that you've put in there. So then the next time that you see somebody eating those products, your brain starts recognising that that's fine. They've just got my yeah. boat and I'm happy for them to have it. I love um, that idea. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. You and uh, Dr. Mary, have you hypnotised each other or? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's Is been it really something good. that you do like regularly or you just do it once and then you kind of, you know, so, you have yeah, it depends a little bit on each person's, where they're at. So some people are very ready to let go of something. So someone who just comes in and goes, I am so, I am so sick of these bloody donuts. I don't want them. They, I work in a shop and they're right next door and I just want them out of my life. They probably only need to listen to that script once and that, that'll be done. But for mm. other people, it might take them a little bit longer. You know, they're still thinking they're, they're still they would like them to go but they're just a little unsure and so they may need to listen a couple of times because for that particular one 
th- they really need to decide what is going in. So mm. it's it gives them some power, like because again, it's not me it's deciding what they're not. You know, I'm not putting Oreos or whatever. They get to decide what to put in. Um, so in that way, it's empowering. But again, just talking to that subconscious, taking away some of the changing some of the thought processes that are in our brain, and really helpful. I've done a lot for smoking as well. It's been great for smoking. Okay. Mm. Yeah, great. Now, um, so I'll just let everybody know that we have launched, we're running a competition um, this week. Uh, it'll be for, I think we're going to draw it in 10 days and today is day one. We've got three amazing prizes. We've got a, um, a full book bundle from Daniela and myself. We've got a $75 low-carb Emporium gift voucher to spend on whatever you like in the low-carb Emporium store. And Dr Lucy has kindly donated exactly what we are talking about so a uh, a hypnosis program so how does a hypnosis program work it's 30 days yeah um yeah tell us more about that so it's a 30 day um it's it's called hypnosis for real health and weight loss we decided not to get too quirky with the title and just tell you exactly what it is um (laughs) (laughs) and in there there's um very each day you get a new little hypnosis to listen to so by the end of it you'll be able to decide what your favorites are and you can repeat those as often as you like you keep the the, you keep the product it's not a just 30 days see you later it's that that's yours forever and so and in that there's some that are more uh meditative process where it's really about the relaxation of your body which is good for your health so settling down that cortisol turning your um, you know, fright and flight reflex down, which is your sympathetic nervous system, sort of invigorating your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest. So there's that sort of element. And then there's more uh, ones on the mind sort of set. The mind stuff is sort of, Mary does some, the body and the spirit, she calls it. So she does body and spirit and I'm doing the mind. So the mind is that one that I just gave that example of the of the rowboat. Um, they're, in, they're very... Varying lengths. So some of them are only, you know, seven or eight minutes. Some of them are 20 minutes. Um, but, you know, as I said, we're catering for a big thing so that people get to choose then the ones they love and they can just keep listening to it over and over again. Okay. And so the hypnosis sessions that you were talking about, are they only in person or is that something that you can do? No, you can do them. Yeah, you can do them on and you can do. So with, if I'm doing a, um, so I do do hypnosis in person, but you can just do them um, on a, on a, um, just an online program because we have Mm -hmm. a, we have a wake up sequence. So there's, Mary does, um, we always do a wake up sequence at them. And then Mary often does too. She'll give people the option because some people sort of want to do it and go to sleep and they go, is it going to work going to sleep? And it still does because it your brain is still listening. Even though you're unconscious, which is what sleep is, your brain's listening and your subconscious is still there. So it definitely works while you're asleep. So it's a, yeah, it's a great, I just think for, yeah. It's also, I just think it, When people are struggling and everything feels really hard, putting on your headphones or just having your phone next to your bed and lying down and listening to this, it's a really easy way to consume some information that will change your mindset so that you can then do the things that feel hard. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I I listen to... um... Uh, audio books in bed yes. at night um, until I'm almost until I'm in that lolly you know if I if I turn them off too soon I lay there and then my thoughts just go bing yes <laughs> whirr, 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 whirr. So I listen until I'm really starting to drift off but I yes one <laughs> and then <laughs> That wasn't chocolate, no. Um, <laughs> this is all very real. We are very real. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then I, but I have wondered, like, 
my husband laughs that, you know, because I have to often listen to them over and over again because I've basically <laughs> missed half of it. Half of it, yeah. Sleep state. But I say that I like to think it's going in there. So I, I like that you've given me a bit of backup on that. And I'm Absolutely. curious as well, I've always, um, I remember hearing when I was young and I've always thought when people daydream, they say that that is the door between your conscious and subconscious opening because you're yes. not thinking, you're sort of zoned out, staring at something. And I, I can almost visualise a little door swinging open and the thoughts, you know, running in and out and swapping. Is that, yeah. is that actually a thing? So when I'm, when I'm sort of staring, if my husband comes up and whispers, make me a coffee, <laughs> will that work? <laughs> Well, it's interesting because daydreaming is that it is a hypnotic state. So, you know, they use the word trance. Trance is a funny word. It's a bit triggering. feels funny. But a hypnotic state or a hypnotic trance is really when you are not present. So you're not conscious here and you're off daydreaming. You know, you're completely unaware of your circumstances unless someone comes and pokes you or makes a loud noise or something like that. So... Technically, he probably could, but what he would have to do is say, make me a coffee every morning and then you would have <laughs> <laughs> every morning you'd have this thought, I might make him a coffee. And it's not <laughs> it just comes in and you don't recognise that it's actually coming from yourself, but it's been put there. Yeah. Oh, this is fascinating. I really want to try it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good. I think some people get worried that, they, as I said, that they're going to do, you know, duck talking or something. But really, the way I like to describe it is it's just a beautifully relaxing state. Allow yourself to relax. So some people start and they hold themselves like that. And I'm going, you know, you, you know that's not going to work. You have to be open to the idea that you're going to be relaxing and that you, so you do it in a, somewhere where you feel comfortable because, you know, I, I remember I was doing, I had a, um, an audio of a recording of the teacher that taught us um, and I thought, oh, I'll go and do it, you know, down at the beach. It'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful and sunny. And I realised I actually felt vulnerable, like I was somehow because I wasn't conscious. So I thought it's, you know, it's like, yeah, I just, it wasn't safe. I didn't feel safe. So I tend to do them in either, um, interestingly, I, I often do it in my car. Mm -hmm. before so like before I come inside so I'm in my driveway I'm in my car I feel quite safe in my car there's no one walking by because we've got a long driveway and it's then I go okay well I feel I can relax I can do it and I'll put an audio on if it's often Mary put Mary on <laughs> and um and just have her relaxing me my insulin's going down or whichever one I'm listening to and it's just, I feel good. I feel good. So it's interesting. You mean like before you come into the house to sort of yeah. carry on with the the evening's tasks yeah. and it's a way of, oh, I love the idea of this. And, in fact, yes. you've reminded me um, my daughter, who's eight, um, has inherited my anxiety and so she actually did some um, a session of hypnosis with a counsellor uh, late last year for anxiety as well, yep. um, which seems to have helped. Um, and it's, oh, it was fantastic. a similar letting go type um, Yeah, thing. you can do all sorts of, yeah, there's so many, that it has so much um, capacity and you just, I think, you know, even the idea that, you know, in, in the hypnosis we say to people, you know, you feel wonderful, you feel mm -hmm. energised. People wake up and they go, God, I feel really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I'm going to have to try this. Can you tell yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I want to try and write another book. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, another recipe book? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're dying to get another one out. We, we, tr we. I mean, we'd love to get to a year done, but it, there's just um so much work. But um, yeah, give me all that energy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Energize. That's what I need. Yeah. Energy. Energize. Okay. That's it. We've oh, got an energized one. Yeah, totally. So I think 
you know, when people go, you know, people ask me, oh, you know, what do you do? And I kind of go, oh, well, you know, help people lose weight. It's that's like a snippet yeah. of what I do. It's really the whole I help people become well again. And yeah. part of that is is losing weight, but part of it is also everything else that goes, I guess, with that mind-body rebalance and just opening it up to them. Yeah. And and how did you get down this? this was this something that basically, um, you know, ha- how did you get from, yeah. How, how did, did I know? How did, yeah. yeah. So I was just, when I was looking at, so initially when I thought, oh, I'm going to learn um, you know, basically I came across low carb like lots of people for my own weight loss story and somebody introduced it to me and, you know, like everything I tend to do, I go, I'm a bit type A and I go, right, I'm going to research, I'm going to do everything and suddenly I'm an expert in it and, you know, it was, and I, I had a business I called Epiphany because it was like an epiphany. And then I kind of realised in this life that there are people that can just take low carb and they will just go and do it and live happily ever after and that, that is wonderful but for a lot of people it doesn't work that easily it's not that they can just go and do it there's all this other stuff in there blocking them so one of the things was working out okay well what can I do to learn about behavioral change and anyway came across this course and it was like blew my mind it was beautiful it was so great and then when I met Mary it was completely separate and we just had all these things. We, I met her at a low-carb conference and then it turned out she'd done the same course that I'd done just a year earlier and it turned out that her dad, who's an anaesthetist, anaesthetised my daughter in a really bizarre way because we live like on the opposite sides of the bay. So we live 250 kilometres from each other. Wow. Something like that. But my daughter had a... Thing called a Beruli ulcer or it's this um, kind of flesh-eating bacteria ulcer um, that was very um, common over where Mary lived but not very common where we lived and we were trying to get help for her from the hospitals and the doctors around us. They didn't know anything and so we actually took her over there because we knew we knew friends and stuff, infectious diseases specialists over there. So we went over there and she needed surgery, yada, yada, Mary's dad, and Mary's dad knows hypnosis as well, and he actually did some hypnosis for her for her post op recovery. So it was just meant to be. Oh wow! An anaesthetist that does hypnosis. Yes, well, that's brilliant. I um, know. Now you have another um, one of your courses coming to so aside from the competition, and I'm going to link the mm. competition in in the comments as well, um, so that you can try and win that or any of those prizes, but. Um, tell us, so uh, you're, you're launching Monday, you're so, um, the, opening the doors. Yes. So the next round, so we do the 12-week mind-body rebalance three times a year. So we're okay. just finishing our first cohort now and lots of Thermo Foodies we're in. It, and they're most, oh, God, I, you know We've, what? I've I feel like amazing um You've sent us through some amazing comments and testimonials from those women. It's really, yeah. really awesome to hear. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I feel like I've got the best job in the world because I get to connect with such beautiful people and be able to help them in a way that they can then help themselves, really. Um, so so it's permanent, we're talking permanent changes. We're talking permanent yeah. lifestyle improvements, not just, you know, quick fix yeah, no, no. I I might the anti. I hate quick fixes. You know, once I was actually approached by Fat Blaster. I think they are some you know powdery company, um, a keto something or other. And they said, you know, do you want to be an ambassador? And I said, no, absolutely not, <laughs> not no, <laughs> because you know I'm low carb, real food. Like you've missed that bit of it. So um, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, the doors to the doors open on Monday. So day after Anzac Day and we have early bird specials. If people purchase on Monday, they get three bonuses and the three bonuses are they get a $50 Mingle Spice Voucher, they get a, the 30-day hypnosis program, again, which separate to the 12-week uh-huh. where we also have hypnosis and they get a masterclass on sugar addiction. So 
kind of really complements the program. They get that Monday. If they don't buy Monday, they get them by Tuesday. They don't get the mingle. They get the other two products. And if they don't buy Tuesday but they buy Wednesday, they get the Sugar Addiction Masterclass. And if they don't buy Wednesday, they can still buy Thursday. There's just no bonuses. <laughs> Okay. And, so when we say yeah. doors open Monday, we meet with the, the course. It doesn't start until May. Um, what's that's the date? Sunday. That's Sunday. So we always release the content on a Sunday so that people can okay. perhaps you know have some time to listen to it if they you know they because um, they're so they're little bite sized videos that go for maybe five seven minutes. Some of them. Um, which you can either listen to as you're walking the dog or you can watch on 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 telly, I was about to say, on your computer. And then there we have our coaching call on that sub, on that topic on the Thursday. So there's lots of contact with us, lots of support. It's been fantastic. I've loved it. So May 2 would be the yep. Sunday. Yep. So mm -hmm. you're basically you open doors for um selling um your tickets on the monday coming yes 26 yep so yeah okay yeah awesome. they've got six um, days and then it shuts awesome yes and then everyone's in it together to go along yes um and of course we um always let people know you can use our simply planned um, meal plan for yep. um the food component as well, it goes hand in hand. So um, another reason that we love collaborating yes. with you because we complement each other. So Yeah, totally. Um, and that's, that's, I think, one of the things I say to people is that we we don't do meal plans. It's not a 12-week meal plan. It's, it's the tools and then you can use definitely your meal plans, all your recipes, they all work because, you know, our philosophy is low-carb real food, which is your philosophy. So it's perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, um, are we going to catch? Yeah. Should we catch up next week again? Yeah. So we'll do next Wednesday, so just as a last sort of little. Because I would love to. I, I mean, I'm I'm so passionate about low carb. If anyone has any questions, I, I I'm more than happy to answer anything. You know, it doesn't have yeah, to be yeah. about the course. Don't feel that you've got. Oh, I don't want to ask for a question because I don't want to buy a course. I don't care. Just ask a question because we they need to be brain. sharing. Yes, yeah, pick my brain. Yes, it's there. Weight loss, you know, anything you want to talk about, um, yep. get Dr. Lucy to answer that. So you can pop the questions below here or I'll start a new thread to introduce next week and we'll we'll check both. Um, or you can ask while we're chatting live. Um, just put the comments in um, next week as well. So, yeah, ask us. Or you can email us as well. So um, if you don't, if you want it to be anonymous, you can email us and we can um, ask the questions on your behalf. So that's also another option. Fantastic. Good. All right. Well, well wonderful to you again. Thank you for all that information. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah. I'm, I might have to book in. I'll have to try it. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you some. I'll send you some. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Um, Okay, we will chat again next week then. Good Indeed. luck with the um, doors opening on Monday with uh, your um, next next course. Thank you. All right. All right. See you all next week, lovelies. Bye.